All right, hello, everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we're going to be taking a look at this behemoth of an omnibus in the Avengers vs. X-Men omnibus. So we used to have oversized hardcovers of the Avengers vs. X-Men, and there was also a companion piece, and now we have this 1,680-page omnibus. This is by far the biggest omnibus that I have, and I think it has to be one of the biggest omnibus ever created. This thing is huge. And I have to say Marvel did an excellent job binding this. So let's go over what this contains and kind of look at the back here. Um, I really like the artwork. The hardcover looks excellent. Uh, so let's take a look at what this includes. We've got Avengers vs. X-Men 0 to 12, AVX vs. 1 to 6, Avengers vs. X-Men Infinite number 1, 6 and 10, Avengers Academy 29 to 33, Secret Avengers 26 to 28, Avengers 25 to 30, New Avengers 25 to 30, X-Men Legacy 266 to 270, Wolverine and the X-Men 9 to 16 and 18, AVX Consequences 1 to 5, Uncanny X-Men 11 to 20, A Babies versus X Babies number 1 and material from uh, from uh, point 1 number 1. That's so crazy. This retails for $150 in the US, $187.50 in Canada, so relatively one of the pricier books. However, with the size of this, I kind of understand where they're coming from. Uh, I, I did not pay. I, I don't know what I paid for this. I can't remember. It just came out of my account, and I just didn't even look at it. Um, I, I, I think I got it for 30% off from Indigo.ca, and that's also why I ended up getting it a little bit earlier, uh, because I think this is supposed to come out on November 1st is uh when it's supposed to come but come out but here in canada we end up getting some omnibus a little bit earlier when i order from indigo.ca anyway uh this means war so we have the pan uh, the kind of explaining what's going on the creators on the right hand side kind of small font that's that's kind of unfortunate but they could have gone they could have gone for the full page it's just just something that kind of pops out and this is really small font too Oh, that's already taken out. Okay. So, let's take a look at the artwork here. I'll open it up in a second so you can see everything because it wraps around. Just freaking gorgeous. I've... Ugh, a lot of the artwork in this book I really enjoyed too. And I've read most of this. Uh, when it first came out, I actually have the single issues for most of the, of the Avengers vs. X-Men and a lot of the companion stuff too because I was reading... X-Men and Wolverine and the X-Men at the time, so I had all of those. I just didn't have necessarily all the times, but it's close. Just look at that. That's gorgeous to me. One of the best hardcover wraparounds that I've seen, I think. I love this. The colors are so vibrant and popping out. The action that's going on, I'm really digging this. All right. Stop gushing and let's go and take a look at everything that's included in here. Bring that down just a bit. So, one th oh, no, almost 1,700 pages. I barely stretched this book. Marvel, whatever you're doing, keep it up because the last omnibus that I got from you was very well done as well. All right, and printed where? Um... I can't see that, so let's just bring it up. It's so freaking heavy, though. Okay, so manufactured between blah 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 by IMAX Offset, Essenyurt, Istanbul, Turkey. Turkey. I've never really paid attention to see if I have any other omnibus that were from Turkey. I feel like I do have some, but I just never looked at it. So, either way, spot on. Everything that's included, some table of contents, always like seeing that. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> and then we dive right into it with part one. So, as you can see, we're at the beginning of the, the book here. Right off the bat, two-page spread. Look at that. Look at how well they did. There's no gutter loss. There is... Later on, we are going to get a little bit here and there, but it's not, considering how many pages this is, they did a phenomenal job. So, without going into spoilers, I'll kind of just give the brief synopsis for what the story is here. Um, this is 
the I don't remember who because I, I haven't read this in 10 years since it came out um, but basically so I'm really excited to go back into this and kind of dive into it and, and read up the few issues that I had I'd missed from before uh, to get all the tie-ins I don't remember I remember enjoying the tie-ins for the most part granted this was 10 years ago so who knows but basically they realize that there's a force coming to earth and they find out that it's the Phoenix Force. So what happens is that the X-Men end up wanting uh, it to go to Hope Summers. And Cy that's mainly what Cyclops wants. That's kind of cool right there. There's a lot of two-page spreads. However, okay, just one thing that I don't often notice. You can see, I guess it's relative. I mean, it has to be. You have to remember how many pages this is. But you can see the lines there in the back. So just have that in mind for those that care about it. Uh, you are getting relatively thin paper, I guess, to the point that you can see through it. Um, it doesn't bother me too much because it's not very apparent, but I did see it right there. Like I'm not seeing it here. You might be able to see it somewhere else where it's light. That's a nice shot right there. So basically what happens is that, yeah, let's keep going on. Cyclops and the X-Men uh, want it to go to Hope Summers because the ex the, the, the mutants aren't doing the greatest at this point in time in the timeline, and they think that this might help them. Uh, whereas the Avengers are like every time that the Phoenix Force is just pure chaos and not a good thing, so they want to stop it before it arrives. That's essentially what starts this fight. The fight scenes I remember really enjoying, uh, and the other nice thing is that we I feel like comic book comic book fans and just fans in general of any kind of multimedia, they like to see good guys versus good guys. We've seen good guys versus bad guys for the umpteenth time, but most of the time the good guys win. So it's really interesting when you see two teams that we generally cheer for have different views and opinions, which is really what the villains and heroes have to a degree. If a good villain is written that kind of makes sense, then that's what you get. So this, you have two heroes that have very opposing views, but it, both of them kind of make sense. So that's why I liked about this, that you can kind of cheer for either side, depending on how you feel about it and how the story kind of plays out. I liked Wolverine probably the most in this, from what I remember. I thought his character had some interesting arcs. I, like, this isn't even close to being halfway through. But as you can see, it just lays flat the entire time. Like, I'm not close. To, this is New Avengers number 27. I also, I was reading the New Avengers as well at the time, and Avengers, so I had most of these issues. Um, okay, one thing I will say is just because I feel it here, it does have that kind of dusty feel that they kind of have sometimes, um, and once in a while it is glossy, but not super glossy, so just something else that I'm noticing. Nice two-page spread. See, we're getting, now we're getting close to the middle. And this is where we get, we're getting a bit of gutter loss. It's not too bad. You can pretty much see, I mean, you look at the hand, right? Even right there. It's not bad at all. Um, but it is, it's still there. I just like that it's not trying to close. Not that I think it would. Well, yeah, actually at this size. See, here's another time. It's any, any time that they kind of go light, we can kind of see a little bit in the background. It's see through a bit and see the panels. It's only happen. I mean, if it only happens here, that's not too bad because we don't see anything on that side, do we? No. I know that some people care about it. I don't really care about that because it's not really affecting my reading. For me, it's basically if it opens that I care about it. I think that there was a few additional things here. So this is how much we get. I, I didn't count how many pages it was. Kind of just go through it. Uh, this is the variance? Yeah, variance. And there you go. What I'll do now is I'll just try to go somewhere in the middle. Kind of end... We'll take a different view and I'll show you there's not much of an eye, <laughs> but granted, I didn't stretch this out like a crazy amount. So I think that just reading it might create a little bit more of an eye 
for the most part, though, I'm very, very, very happy with this book. All right, so this looks about halfway through, and here is the eye. It's it's not exactly the exact eye that you would want. It's not a full circular arc, but it's there. And considering the size of the book, so that's let's go like this, so you can actually see what it looks like. Just for those that care about that. And there you go. That is it. That is Avengers vs. X-Men. Thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage!